This is CHTV. I'm Jesse Lau. And I'm John Delapet. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thanks for tuning in. Now today's news for Monday, April 8, 2019. Hey Dons, today we have your friendly librarian, Miss Jennifer, in studio to give you a quick message. Hey Dons, it's your friendly neighborhood librarian, Miss Jennifer, and I am here this special day to celebrate National Library Week. We would really love your support, so come on out to Chipotle for a fundraiser. It's going to be today at 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock on the corner of Artesia and Bloomfield. Again, today, 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock for our fundraiser for National Library Week. Please come out and support us. We really appreciate you and all that you do for us. And that money will be raised to give us books for graphic novels and manga books. See you then. Tickets are on sale now. Tickets are $90 with ASB and $95 without ASB. Tickets at these prices are through April 12th. Starting on April 15th to April 30th, tickets will be $105 with or without ASB. The last day to turn in contracts for approval to the library is April 18th. Attention all current sophomores and juniors. Are you kind? Do you have life experiences and lessons that freshmen need to hear? Do you like to have fun? You can make a difference in a student's life by becoming a Link Crew leader. For more information, please attend one informational meeting in the Career Center on Wednesday, April 10th from 2.50 to 3.15 p.m. or Monday, April 15th at lunch or from 2.50 to 3.15 p.m. Feel free to bring your lunch. If you have any additional questions, please see Dr. Gutierrez in the counseling office. That wraps it up for our CHS report. Now for our favorite Walker's Weekly Wind Down. Take it away, Mr. Walker. Walkers Weekly, Walkers Weekly, Walkers Weekly Wind Down! All right, good morning. It is time for Walkers Weekly Wind Down, Monday version. I'm coming to you remotely from the poppy fields in Temecula. Amazing what a little rain will do. But talk about blooming. How about those that showed the Cerritos way last week? Let's get on to shouting them out. We'll start off with baseball last Tuesday. John Glenn, 605 league game with league title implications. And it was a tight one late, 2-1. to one. We had El Patron Pinal on the mound. And then in the bottom of the sixth, for the Dons, the floodgates opened on up. Manabusin started off with a ground rule double. Nick Hill with a walk. Quincy Quib. Qu Brantar, if I can pronounce that correctly, got hit by a pitch. Owen got brought him in with a base hit. Then it was 3-1. to one. Jacob De La Rosa got hit by a pitch. It was 4-1. to one. Matthew Aguanaga, a double 6-1. to one. And then helping himself out, El Patron hits a double, brings in two more. Final score, 8-1. to one. Now, I didn't make it to Friday's game, but they had John Glenn once again. And they went into extra innings. We had Uno Vasquez on the mound for all eight innings. And then the winning hit, once again, coming from El Patron. Patron. Dons look like they're in the driver's seat for the 605 league title. Now, it takes fans at the game to make the thing interesting. How about our teacher fans that show up and cheer them on? I wanted to shout out Miss Oliveira, Miss Rayum, and Miss Violon for cheering on our players. Listen in. I think. We were going to have video of them, but maybe not. <laughs> Believe it or not, they're cheering there. It was supposed to be video, but uh, maybe a technical difficulty as far as that's concerned. Last Wednesday, what was the prom reveal time? It's a whole new world for our prom May 4th. Sh wanted to shout it out to our ASB and our runway models that made that a nice event at lunchtime. Now it's time to bring on the prom posals. Let's shout out also our nominees for prom queen, Mia Hathaway, Sasha Nielsen, Mia Han, and Iris Kim, and and our prom kings, John Gallet, Tristan Hovignanos, and Ty Anderson. Now on Thursday, made it on out to the track to watch our tracksters go against Whitney. They swept those kids who feel bad enough already about not getting to Cerritos High School. But wanted to shout out those who did well on the track. Nicole Jet Blue, Monet Jenkins, Justin Kim, Brian Hewn, and he got himself a personal best. In the field events, Kamzi Okiri and Kamiya Nguyen, they got first in the high jump. Also, Sean Balaje, he was first in high jump, long jump, and triple jump. And then there was David Ha, who said, Mr. Walker, I'm going to get you 36 feet. And he did so on his very last attempt. So shout out for 
for uh, David as well. After track, I went on over to the gym to watch badminton play. They swept Loera in their matches. That was great. Coach Jason told me to shout out Cindy Boyun, Brian Siswanto, Vershitha Cadella, and Kenny Wynn. On Friday, we had our rally, I'll have to say. The swim and boys teams did some pretty fun dancing to make it interesting. I found them most entertaining. Baseball, you guys were the scariest. That whole chicken fight thing, uh, trust me, I almost had a heart attack. I, after the first rally, headed on out to Disneyland, where our entire school was recognized as a California Distinguished School. This is an honor, once again, that the entire school can take some pride in. Only 160 middle schools and high schools in the entire state are able to get that award. So you should all be proud of yourselves. We were there with Mr. Tony Thurmond, who is our state superintendent, giving us that award to our team in the background. All right, moving on to the weekend, we had our Olympiad team in the state finals over to Caltech, and for the first time in school history, we had medalists. In code busting, Nathan Chin, Angelina Lee, and Quantip Taksaksori, and in meddling in the sound of music, Aaron Fu and John Lee. And you see Mr. Sanchez back there, because they meddled, they're gonna be dyeing his hair. That's gonna be pretty exciting. All right, I don't know what color yet, but it, it'll be really cool when that gets done. Finally, we're going to close up, as we always do, with our Walker's Weekly winner. For this one, he got three first place finishes in his three field events, and he helped the Dons knock off Whitney in a sweep all the way across. This week's Walker's Weekly winner is Sean Balajay. Hey, guys. It's the dawn of a new dawn week. Let's make it a great one. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we have for today on CHTV. Thanks for tuning in CHTV. We hope you have a National, National Zoo, Zoo Lovers Day, Day Monday. Monday.